Hello, today's show the title of the video is uh, what to do if one tries everything but one is still confused with earlier wave uh, trading. Now, that was a difficult question uh, because I recorded a video recently that uh, title what to do when an earlier wave trader does not know what to do. That was that video. Remember that? So a trader put in a comment section. So if I try, okay, the idea way, a theory, and it is not successful for me. And again, by watching that video, and I do exactly what you have said, which means I refer to the price action, I draw my P42, I draw my channel, I try everything. I'm still confused. What is left for me to do? Well, what should I say? As I answered that trader in the comment section of that video, I was telling that trader that uh, when you you try it your way, and it did not work for you, and then you, you refer to the normal technical trading, okay, doing other things that normal technical traders are doing, and you're still uh, confused, how do we deal with confusion? That's why that's the key point now, all right? Whenever there is, take it from me, whenever there is a confusion, all right? You may see a lot of things messing up, blah, 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 blah. But among those things that are creating the complexity or the confusion, there are things that remain intact. That's what I like to call market stable data, something that we call the truth among the mess. So you want to behave like a detective and find something that is true. And from there, because it's a confusion, you don't know what to do, you need to work with one thing, that's it. So to answer your question is that if you try everything, the earlier wave and the normal technical analysis and you're still confused, it means that you need to find one high probability trading setup that you want to master and understand and use only that. <laughs> That's it. Now, you, a lot of traders may say, Joe, this is not helpful for me, but uh, I can tell you now, very simple. One example, so they may say, tell me one example of a high probability setup that you can recommend to me. Here, price breaks above the prior high and retest it. It's a high probability setup. Hmm? Right, breaks the body prior high and retest it and the common set lies kaput implement a top down trading method to buy it price break below a key level uh, a price breaks below a prior low in a downtrend so in a downtrend like this okay uh, what is uh can i see one example no uh it's not uh, here here it is okay so you see here so the price went down from a low and then rally up now he breaks below it. So prior retesting. Okay, prior retesting. Alright. A prior low. Can you see that? This was a prior low here. And here he was retesting the prior low after breaking below it. And then now people take it down. So when you try the earlier wave principle, the earlier wave pattern, the earlier wave forecast, or you do everything that you want to do, but you still not having success as you expect in it. Now you go and watch that video that I titled how what to do when an earlier wave trader does not know what to do. And you are saying to me, George, I've done that also. Now I'm still okay, struggling. In that case, you need to work with one trading method, one high probability trading team, one high probability trade setup. And you want what you are doing, you are it's like uh, you are working with a tool before, and uh, probably if we want to use a metaphor, it's like uh, the tool is a little bit damaged. So by by going back to one specific trading method. What you are doing, you are sharpening, you are sharpening your tools. You are sharpening, okay, your skills. So that's all I can say to you. 
for those of you who say, oh, George, I've tried the earlier way, or oh, I've done this. But there are a few earlier way mistakes that people are making all the time. One of the biggest earlier way mistakes that traders are facing is that they are working with a limited data. Some earlier way traders do not even know that they are working with a limited data. If that's you, you may get into all kind of funny situation because your focus sometimes may not add up because you are working with a limited data. What do I mean by that? You see this chart here, uh, I have it only for 2009. So when I'm working with data like this, I'll say to myself, well, I need to be cautious, which means I'm not, I believe that there are data before that, before this point. But I don't have it here. So anytime I'm counting away with this kind of a data, all right, I will be very cautious. I will not bang on it. I'm going step by step, gently, gently. This is one thing that is also messing up, so to speak, a lot of earlier with traders. Okay. The second thing that a lot of earlier with traders are facing is that they are counting wave on one time frame, and they want to work alone with that. It doesn't work like that because the cycle are overlapping from one time frame to the next one. That's why we talk about a higher degree. Wave count. That's what we're talking about. A higher degree cycle. All right. So this is the second thing that is also uh, messing up a lot of traders. Another thing that I think also is messing up a lot of traders is more to do with the mindset. So trader, if you are a trader that embrace the earlier wave at the beginning as an exact science, and uh, you you trust it in a way that you say, all right. Now I am confident to use a powerful tool, which it is. And then you are using it, okay? At the same time, you think that that's the only thing that people are using, and you you embrace it, and you close your eyes to your eyes to everything else that can also not be useful to you. So all in all, if you are still struggling it means that you have to go to square one to speak so to speak and then you want to find one high probability trading setup i'll give you one today okay we test in prior high high in an uptrend all right the high in an uptrend and the common sense is broken implement a top down trade method i think uh, so you're just working on one thing one thing one thing one thing one thing one thing all the time that's all you do all right until okay you, you dispel all the confusions. You dispel all the confusion. And then if you want to go back again to using the area with theory, you want to take one again, one pattern or one strategy again. And then you want to work on that, work on that until you are relieved from all the past confusion. All right? That's all you will do, all right? That's how you will do then, all right? So, for one example would be like an, an earlier way trader that is uh, confused, uh, was using uh, one trading strategy for a while. Now he or she wants to go back to earlier waves. Well, you want to go back to earlier wave, you will be working with channels. So you'll be going in the channel, probably going one, two, three. So you'll be buying or selling in the channel, selling here, selling here. That will be a simple way, so you'll be trading in a channel. But as I told you, the mistake that one will make with one channel on a monthly chart like this is to forget to check the next higher time frame. All right. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, what to do if one tries everything, but one is still confused with any way of uh, trading. Please do not ask another question and say, if I try that also, it doesn't work. Then uh, if you try this one again and it doesn't work, well, I may say, all right, I may say to some traders, maybe trading is not for you. So trading is not for you. You may be good at other things. Probably life is calling you for better things than trading. So you may enjoy your life outside trading. So you may go and find your dream, all right? your talent, where you can excel. Okay, that's what I would say to some traders. They say, oh, George, I try this, I don't want to try this, I try this. And then this one also doesn't work. Then I'm going to say to you, oh, sometime, okay, one thing that uh, some trader may do, because if you are losing money, you have to stop trading with real money. That's the first thing. 
because the accumulation of the laws take time. And then one day you realize that you have wasted, okay, $50,000 in a lifetime for ordinary people. That's a lot of money, yes or no? All right, so if you've been losing non-stop a lot of money, it's one, is to stop trading, uh, stop using real money, go back to the drawing board. That's it. Or find something else that is not wasting money because one cannot continue to lose money all his life. That's a very important advice. I, would, I mean, I'm not advising you, but I need to tell people that sometimes it's just you need to stop putting money on it. All right? Saturday means it's difficult, but you, at one point you may have to make that decision or go away from the chart, uh, from the, or, or, or if you have to close your trading account, if that's the only way that can stop, you have to close it, then you have to close it. What can you do? And then you go back and find something better to do in life or to sharpen your, your skill of trading. Because at the end of the day, is well, in my view, personally, because I lost so much money in the stock, in the financial market, I mean, I, talk about, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So what I'm saying to people, practically speaking, if you are losing real money, a lot of money, it's time to sit down with yourself and give yourself the best advice in your life and move and do something better in life, okay, that will generate a profit, okay, um, that's it, all right. So this will conclude our discussion today about what to do if one tries everything, but one is still confused with any way of trading. If you have any question or suggestion, uh, please uh, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. This is was uh, this was uh, an excellent question, by the way. Excellent question, uh, Mr. P M C L L C. Excellent question. Thank you for asking an excellent question. If this video has been useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that job is another useless recording, uh, please mark it down. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, Facebook, and a Tumblr. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell. So anytime you record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. If you are watching this video on Facebook, our channel is 24 Elliot Wave, DG2, DG4, Elliot Wave in plural. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow me also on YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, our Facebook page is Tokastic Dash Magdi. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders and talking about what to do if one tries everything but still uh, one is still confused with earlier wave trading. In a bracket, some of you may be interested in a trading software called a Trade Idea. The link is in the description session, the description session. Now the reason why I dare to put my reputation in line by recommending a scanning training software is because those people are the leaders. They use what they call artificial intelligence. Uh, in fact, they call that artificial intelligence holy. All right. So the reason why I recommend it to traders is because I said before that one need a trading setup. So this is it. We are using earlier way to find high probability trading setup, viable trading setup. For that trading software allows traders to find high probability trading setup. Is that something that can help somebody in the financial market? I believe so. Is that for you? Maybe. So some trader may struggle to find for themselves high probability trading setup. If that is you, maybe you have to take a look at uh, okay the trade idea. They are offering five days okay test drive starting on the 29th of November. Uh, 20, sorry, starting on the 29th of this October, 29th of October, up to the 2nd of uh, okay November. Now you can check the link below because that link is allowing you to do that five days uh, okay test drive and see whether it has been useful to you or not. Professional big financial institution are using the trade idea. 
right? So it's not something that, uh, because I never recommend to trade a trading software. I believe uh, uh, I'm very reluctant when they talk to me about trading software, but it's something I thought, okay, because I said to trade a high probability trading setup is the key for a successful trade. So here we are with a trading software that can do exactly that. If you think that that can be useful to you, check the link in the description section. Thank you for watching, and I will speak to you soon. Also, if you go to our any of our website, www.stochastic-madi.com, www.dpotrader.com, or www.2foreliaway.com, if, for instance, uh, okay, you want to get back to a link that will allow you to reach them, uh, you can just go to our website, the home page. The top banner is about, okay, all right, trade idea. But the five days, the five days test drive, I'll put the link in the description section for you, or you go to dayportraders.com. And the banner at the top at the moment, all right, is about that five day test. Please do not click on any advert on our website. The top banner, is, I put it there myself, it's no advert, it is about okay, the trade idea. Thank you.